So in this lesson, we're talking about Google's mobile first indexing approach. And that's about Google preferring and organizing cross-device content in a way that it can easily be queried from and displayed on a lot of different devices, really. So mobile search usage has surpassed desktop you know, search by 2015 already. Hitwise reported in mid of 2016 that nearly 60% of all searches now happen on mobile. So what can happen is that if you start searching on Google, you will use a mobile device. But you know, when you end up clicking on something, that site actually serves a desktop page. And that is a very bad user experience. There are big challenges for Google in regards to mobile-first indexing. Google has never had to swap out an entire index to something new. And doing it without experimentation would be impossible. Sites should not be hurt or lose out significantly in the process. Therefore, kind of large-scale indexing experiments will be conducted. That is what Gary Ilge said at SMX in Seattle last year. It is super important for Google to figure out on how to use the signals of an 18 years old desktop index for mobile. So for example, the link graph is different and literally totally messed up because mobile subdomains almost never have any external inbound links. So how is Google supposed to make this work? Because just flipping the link graph won't do it. So in the future, your rankings will be entirely based on your mobile website. We will only have one index. So it's not a desktop index and a mobile index. It's just one and the same. For desktop only sites, indexing stays essentially the same. However, crawling will be done by using a mobile user agent. So Google will index mobile content. If and only if you don't have that, they will index your desktop content. But no one will fall out entirely. There are lots of different but very common mobile design elements. You know, accordions or tap switches or carousels, etc. And Google is going to assign them the same value as with non-hidden content. It is not like on a desktop site where you should be very careful to hide something behind, you know, for example, like a read more click or anything like that. It is totally fine on a mobile site as long as the content is straight away available in the source code. So don't use any delayed JavaScript loading or anything like that. Site and content parity is absolutely crucial. Make sure that you know, your desktop site and the mobile site are in total sync regarding content and annotations as well as indexation directives. If you have a separate mobile site, make sure that it has all the indexation rules. But also, you know, it covers simple things like ensuring that images are actually available or you know, that it has real canonical tags present, hreflang, and anything else like that. All of this is way easier if you are on a responsive site, as in this case, it's all the same markup and you do not have to do things twice. But if you are on a dub 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 as well as on an M dot setup, you know, make sure that those sites are really in sync. If you have less content on the mobile site, that will mean that Google can't rank you for the stuff that is missing. So if there's content that covers an important topic on a desktop, but it's not available on mobile, you know, chances are that you will be losing out. Google is going to inform you in their search console if your site has been switched over. So there are mobile first indexing notifications that will tell you, you know, that mobile first indexing has been enabled for that specific domain. If you're curious, you can verify it with your log files as well. You can see you know, in your log files if Googlebot for smartphone is overtaking Googlebot for desktop in terms of crawling volume. So let's finish off with some of the tips on mobile first indexing to really make sure that you are not losing and that you're ready for this one. So first of all, understand your mobile setup and its pros and cons. You know, what are you using it for and why is that? So if it's responsive, you should be generally good to go. If you're on dynamic serving, on the other hand, you know, make sure you include the very user agent HTTP header. Identify and serve the relevant web versions to the right user agent at a time. If you have an independent mobile site, implement the rel alternate and rel canonical tags between mobile and desktop URLs. Also, revise your keyword strategy and keyword targeting. You know, figure out if the keywords are still the right ones. Are people searching for something different if they are on a mobile journey eventually? Also, really make sure that the site is mobile friendly. So the easiest test is you could verify yourself by going into your Chrome browser and use the dev console and then you can switch to responsive and you will see if your site like, generally looks okay. 
also do not prevent access by using interstitials. Are there any kind of you know, crazy overlays or pop-ups or anything like that that would negatively affect user experience? So if so, this can get you in trouble with mobile-first indexing. Check all the Search Console reports. You know, revise the mobile usability report. Also, you know, rich cards and others as they will be present on your mobile site. Check Google's Search Console fetch and render tool. Use it not only for the desktop, but also for a smartphone bot. Do a full site health check and focus on mobile issues. Like for example, Deepcrawl has this in-depth reporting that shows if everything is you know, being properly matched and it ensures that nothing is missing. Pay close attention to the rendered output. You can, for example, use Screaming Frog to simulate Googlebot for smartphone with JavaScript rendering. So if it's all okay, then you are pretty much safe and good to go with Google's mobile-first indexing. And with that, we are actually at the very end of our SEMrush Academy, and I hope you guys got quite a bit out of it and enjoyed it as much as I did. So thanks very much for watching. See you soon.